Cool. Everyone ready to get started? I'm good. Awesome. Cool. So first off, thank you for everyone that uh, wanted to attend and asking so many questions. I think we've already got over 200, so it's going to be a fun time. Um, really appreciate everyone taking time of Saturday, especially to come down and just ask us questions, hang out and all that. And hopefully you guys have fun so we can do more of these more often. But yeah, so I'll just kind of get started. Um, there's a lot of questions that are directed to everyone as well as uh, individual people. So I'll just help manage all that if this is your first time at a Q&A. And of course, welcome Grandpa as the his first Q&A. So we'll, we'll make sure it's a lot of fun. All right, cool. So. Um, First question, actually pretty serious already. Um, what is the most stress thing an admin can experience? Actually, Dean, you can start it off. Oh, um, <clears throat> for me, it's dealing with, or what, when, <clears throat> sorry, <clears throat> when I was a uh, staff, staff management admin, uh, for me, it was dealing with, uh, you know, staff members who weren't doing so great and, you know, maybe have to get demoted or stuff like that. Um, Right now, it's mostly dealing with uh, with bigger updates that come out, uh, which can be quite stressful, especially when they get pushed and there's suddenly a bug that we didn't see in, on the test server because the test server has a different infrastructure. Um, that can be quite stressful for me. All right, cool. Emily? Um, well, I guess the most stressful thing I've experienced is kind of more like in the back end with staff uh, things, like uh, when a lot of like uh, compromised accounts and all of that back up, that gets a little overwhelming. Um, but because I enjoy like pretty much everything, it doesn't really seem stressful for me. So yeah, that's I think that's like the worst stress I've experienced. But yeah. Uh, Toki? Um, so like Dean said, demoting people is like really stressful, but also uh, people who expect me to solve like every problem they're having and not understanding that I'm human is also kind of stressful. Cool. And then Grandpa, how's your, your first few days? <laughs> Any stressful sure. part? Um, there's already encountered um it, i just had to get everything organized really um there like for me i i like doing shortcuts to um doing stuff so right just, just to do commands and stuff so i needed to get used to all the uh <laughs> stuff and organizing um the different teams for admins really Awesome. Sounds good. All right, cool. So next question. Um, Dean, I see you run a ton of different teams. So I was wondering if you ever get stressed or overloaded when working uh, on a lot of these time consuming teams. Along, along that question, uh, when you first joined the staff team, did you ever see yourself as an admin? All right. So for the first part, yes, it can be stressful to deal with a lot of things at once, um, especially because Mindplex, Mindplex stuff tend to happen all at the same time for some reason rather than everything just trickling in so you know especially like days like today where i have the admin q a and then later on i have a recruitment meeting and then the admin meeting and i need to have a meeting with one of the builders and it's just it's just a lot at the same time so yeah sometimes it can get a little bit too much but then there's also days that i don't really have to do anything and i just sit here and monitor so it's uh it's off and on and then what was the second part again so um, did you ever see on. yourself as an admin like before when you first joined? Um, not really. I mean, I joined like five years ago. I and that was just you know because I wanted to help out. I didn't really expect this to be able to be a job. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it at that. Awesome. Next question is also for you. Um, do you ever plan on changing the current way how recruitment process works in the future, or do you feel the current one works the best? So ever since I took over recruitment like two and a half years ago, 
Um, there's been a lot of uh, a lot of small changes, especially internally, that you guys don't really notice. Um, but I think the the most important changes came to the underage process, um, which there will probably be questions about that later on. But it is nowadays it's a lot easier to become staff member when you're you know 14 uh, below the age of 14. Uh, a lot of you don't realize that. A lot of you still think it's super hard. But as long as you show that you are uh, that you would be potentially a good staff member, you will get recognized for it. Um, but to, to answer the main question, no, there will not be any changes in the near future that I can think of. Perfect. All right, Grandpa, what is your next planned IGN? <laughs> If well, I thought about changing it to Grandma Win, maybe. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, I'm not going to be changing my name anymore. As an admin, we got to be kind of the front guy for each of our teams. So if I keep changing my name, I'm not going to, nobody's going to recognize me. I, I've gone, like, uh, first few days of being admin, I go into clans and no one recognized me. Some of them said, like, for instance, Oh, Grandpa's been so inactive uh, lately. He's only been active since he got the um, admin rank. It's like, no, actually, I've been active the entire uh, time. It's just that I've been changing my names back and forth so that players can't recognize me. And that was for my own moderation benefits. But now it's kind of coming back to bite me <laughs> so <laughs> yeah it makes sense all right cool uh so emily what's the fate of the feature upvote network in its current state um as of right now com is currently looking into other options besides feature upvote um we're very happy with trying out new things for the community that could you know potentially change the process on how we uh, sift through feedback and ideas and uh, making sure that our players are being listened to. Um, and Future Upvote was one of those like new projects that we wanted to try out and see where it went um, because, you know, trying is better than not knowing what could have happened. So, um, but we do pl have plans on possibly uh, discontinuing Future Upvote and uh, redirecting everything to the forums and uh, we'll be looking into other options soon. So hopefully some more info about that in the next couple of weeks. Awesome. Yeah, so um, this was like a general question. Um, there was a question of uh, why is Mindplex pay to win in regards to the kits and the gems? So uh, I don't think it's pay to win. I think pay to win is usually when you offer kits in the shop and then you can pay for OP stuff that I think happened in the past before the EULA. But just having gems at four kits isn't really pay to win. It's anyone can do it. You just play a lot, grab your gems, and then upgrade your kits. It's kind of like a motivation system. So yeah, that's my answer to that. OK, um, so Krampa. What do you plan on doing for the future of clans? Congrats on admin, by the way. Well, first off, I wanted to clarify the rules because there are some stuff that uh, there are specific instances that aren't really um, explained in the rules. But then there's like I also want to increase moderation. So one of the few things I am putting together is what i call the it's it's an academic team inside of the cm team that would help um trainees and mods um by taking them like if they want they can go into uh clans with one of these uh cms and we can show them around show that clans is in such a bad place for staff members Awesome. Okay, um, everyone, if you had to pick one platform on Mindplex to play, would it be Bedrock or Java? Dean? 
Uh, I mean, I came from Java, so I'm inclined to say Java, but Bedrock's fine too. Emily? I mean, both platforms are great, but I, I've i been with Java for so long that I'd probably pick Java. Plus, you know, nano games kind of says it itself. Toki? <laughs> um, I actually prefer both about the same. Um, I prefer wow, different things on there. each. Wow. I, I do prefer different things on each, like um, MPS and Nano on Java, but then like Housing and Mixed Arcade on Bedrock, I prefer better. Oh, yeah. I wonder what Grandpa will say. Mine depends on my location, really. If I'm at home, it's Java because I have my laptop, I can access my um, flat screen TV and just play on there. Um, if I'm in my lab, though, and I have nothing to do, I'm, I can go on to Bedrock, and that's what I'll be on. Wow. So is it confirmed that uh, Clans is going to Bedrock? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to copy Toki's answer. I, I like both servers. <laughs> All right, uh, let me see. Du, 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 du. Uh, Dean, when will the next Bedrock Open interviews be? Unsure at this point. We just got out of a round of uh, recruit, recruiter assistance applications. Uh, so I'm going to give my team a little bit of rest before we get into maybe doing Bedrock Open interviews again. Sounds good. OK, uh, question for me, what's it like being a leader? Um, being a leader is uh, definitely a different kind of role from admin. You just have your hands in in a lot of other like channels, and chats, and stuff like that. It's kind of like nothing specific, like other than overseeing a lot of the admins and their teams and stuff like that. I'm also in a lot of production and uh, marketing chats and all that stuff, and just being assigned different tasks by owners, talking to them directly and communicating back with my admins, my staff team, and of course the community on certain stuff. So um, that's kind of like what I kind of do. All right, next question. How old is everyone? I'm 23. Dean? I'm 26. Emily? I'm 21. Toki? 23, almost 24. Ooh. Grandpa? According to my doctor, I'm 60 years old, but I'm actually 23. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, okay, Grandpa, how has your experience been on the admin team so far? What did it feel like when you got the promotion message? I was... I was anxious and excited at the same time. Anxious because I have uh, I have big shoes to fill. Um, because that man knew how to code and well a little bit, and um, he was the one who did the quality of life uh, fixes for clans. And so and you get um, I feel stupid saying this, but immediately when I got the um, admin rank i immediately started working on stuff that would help the team um i even bought a book so that i can just read and um refresh myself on how to do java coding so maybe i could help in the future awesome and how was the reaction for the promotion message or like when or i like called when you I... oh um you're going to find this very funny, but I actually ran up my house. Like, I ran up the wall. Um, my house can, is actually pretty easy to climb. So I was, like, bouncing. I, I was literally bouncing off the wall. Interesting. <laughs> nice. Awesome. All right. Um, let's see. Let's see. Uh, the question is, who's in charge of the website? Um, Wanderer usually does all the website maintenance and all the changes. He's actually working on a new update that's hopefully coming out soon. Don't want to talk too much about it until everything's confirmed, but 
Very excited on that. Um, Toki, what's it like being a mentor? Um, so for me personally, it's always been a blast getting to know people and uh, being able to help them out, whether it's uh, achieving their goals or directing them towards like what would be good for them. Um, and then overall, like workload wise, it can be a lot at times, especially for things that go on back end that most people don't see, um, such as like progress logging and um, behavioral logging and all that good stuff. Cool. Um, <clears throat> so for everyone, uh, what is everyone's favorite thing about being an admin on Mindplex? Dean? Sorry, favorite thing about being an admin on Mindplex, you said? Yes. Uh, I mean, I'm going to just repeat my answer from all the last Q&As. It's getting to work with a lot of amazing people that make me laugh and uh, I have a good time with. That's kind of my answer as well. Um, yeah, the people I work with, like, come and the people out of this are, you know, family to me, and I love them all so much. So definitely my favorite thing about leading uh, the teams that I'm on. I said come and events, Nathan. Okay, okay. <laughs> hey, Chucky. Yeah, I'd say the same as Dean and M. Like, I love my team and everybody on the staff team, actually. And Grandpa? What? Well, Sorry, I think you cut off. Well, I've um, always thought of my team as kind of like my family. And like uh, I love the staff, entire staff team, but. Yeah, they're like I've always thought of them like my brothers and sisters. Um I don't one of my favorite things being an admin, I think it's I get to talk to the community more because as a senior mod I um was always hidden inside I on the clan server. Nobody knew me. Um help like uh, Nobody knew that the reason why my nickname is Grandpa is because I walk with a cane. So, but yeah, I get to talk to the um, community more, and it's just actually it's fun to actually get to know some people. Definitely. All right, cool. Uh, next question. Are there any steps on improving direct communication interaction from the leadership team to its players? Um, for example, speaking in Mindplex Discord, Game Insights Discord, the forums. <clears throat> yeah, so definitely, I think um, we try to do as best as we can. It's just really difficult with how much is on our plate to always directly communicate and stuff like that on what we're working on. But I, I, if, I can't speak for Brian and Alex, um, but uh, I know we. At least I've been just trying to drop in and out of some Discord chats just to say hi, and as well as just go in game and spend a half an hour here and there just talking in lobbies. So, <clears throat> like we try, it's just difficult with sometimes. Um, let me see. Uh, should we skip this question? Or do you want it? Dean? Uh, I mean, we can skip it, I guess. Uh, OK. I think that's been asked so many times. Yeah, that's why. OK, if you could combine two games, current or old, into a single game, like strike uh, games, which two would you pick? I mean, I've always been a fan of. I think it's still on MPSs, right? The the hybrid between SSM and uh, and DOM. I like that one. I think it's interesting. Hmm. Yeah. Emily. Um, I would pick UHC Wizards so that they would be in our hands again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, probably Christmas Havoc. So Christmas Chaos X Halloween Havoc. 
Oh, interesting. Grandpa? Um, I always liked playing Dom and Tag, so I kind of thought it would be fun to have, like, maybe the kits from Dom, like, champions kits in, um, you know, Tag. Nice. I'll do Wizards and Dragon Escape. That's an interesting combo. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how it would work, but, you know. <laughs> All right. Um, let me see. What is something you do a lot that people don't think you do? Admin-related things. This is for anyone, if anyone has anything they want to speak their mind to. Hmm. It's kind of hard for me to know what people think I do because I do so many different things. So I guess a lot of people have different thoughts about what I do. So yeah, I don't have an answer. Yeah, this is a tough one. I can't really think of anything. Probably like actual moderation. Most people probably think admins don't do a lot of that. I do, personally. Yeah, I'm going to be completely honest, I don't. <laughs> if I I'm, do in, if right. I'm in game, I will. Um. I don't know, Nathan said that we can do moderation or not, but for me, I do moderation either way. But the thing I found out that I do a lot too is a lot of Excel work. I don't know, I like Google Sheets stuff, um, just organizing. All right. Do you have any new games coming that you think will all revive the server? <clears throat> uh, we have stuff planned. That's all I'll say. Um, OK. Uh, OK, first question. When will clans reset? I don't, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know. Should I give knows. the normal answer? Yeah, give the normal answer. Soon, TM. <laughs> Will there be less hackers next season? <laughs> well, I'm going to be buckling down on the rules, so that's going to be something interesting. Since okay. I'm going to okay. be really active with it, too, um, the CM team would um, be more active with it as well. Will you guys add new events? Um. Define events because there are stuff that I would like to do, like games. Um, when I was a player and I had the um, money, no, not the money, like in real life, but in game, like gold, um, I would put on a game of bounty where players um, are restricted to the claims around fields and they cannot go underground, they can't go into any bases, and they have to survive as long as they possibly can with their clan. If you can, and like uh, your clan can give you soup, um, no legendaries, obviously, because that's just too much. Um, no rares, just you and your team. It's um, strictly just skills um, to see who can keep, stay alive. Um, bounty is randomly selected. Somebody is, uh, when they are selected, they run around. Um, and they they fight. Whoever kills the bounty becomes the bounty. After ten minutes, they um, whoever's last bounty wins the prize. That's what I wanted, and I want to do more events like this with um, the community, so that it would bring the community and staff members closer to each other. Because I feel like we don't really get to know each other. Let's get a candlelit dinner. It'll be fun. Cool. All right. Uh, next question's for me. Oh, interesting. Uh, what has the team learned from a marketing perspective, and how did it use this to inform future decisions? So um, I think one thing we definitely learned from is working in the marketplace. Um, 
uh, I'll talk about one on Bedrock and one on Java. So marketplace stuff is uh, really different, a lot more competitors and stuff like that. So it's really helped us to adjust and see what's trending and how to do well in that area. Um, in another marketing perspective, on in terms of Java stuff, in terms of games and stuff, I think we've learned that trailers and as well as having just previews of games that we're about to release are really great things to kind of get everyone excited about it, understand what the game is coming out. So I think that's what we're going to do for uh, the future releases that are going to be happening. Um, if your team could do a do-over, would you do anything differently? If so, what? Uh, no, I don't think I would. Just because I have this motto on always just trying something new, even if uh, if it potentially fails, at least I'm trying something new. I don't want my team to ever feel like they're going to be scared to fail just by trying something different or new. Because even if you get in a good formula of releasing certain content or marketing certain stuff, you're just going to kind of exhaust the audience on how they kind of predict content's going to be released. So I don't think I, I, I don't want to live with any kind of regrets when uh, making those kind of decisions. All right, let me see. Uh, how can we... How can you assure the players of Mindplex Java Edition uh, to be a continual priority for Mindplex going forward? So I think it's pretty clear that Bedrock has a lot more players recently than Java. But the thing is, Java is never forgotten. It's where our roots are. Uh, we wouldn't still be re releasing content, releasing updates, or have dev work on it. So I can assure you it's not something we're putting on the back burner. Um, we have the same dev team and infrastructure to ensure there's still content going out there. Most of our admin team is focused on Java stuff. So there's always just new work going on in regards to that. Uh, yeah. Uh, let me see. Let me see. OK, Grandpa, uh, did you ever think you would be a Mindplex admin when you got trainee? Honestly, no. I actually, I was trying to do as best as I can. When I applied, I didn't, like, my English skills weren't really that great. So I was actually denied twice. And I thought, okay, maybe I wasn't meant to be staff. And on the third try, when I finally got it, I was excited. And I was just happy to be here, really. Okay, uh, Toki, what do you think of the fate of Bedrock mentoring will look like? Do you have any plans for the team? Ah, uh, yes. So now the fun question. Um, so essentially, we do have a lot planned for the future on staff management, and actually, we have some information right now that is going to be like. Um, so on the fifteenth of September, uh, mentoring will no longer be um, division specific. Um, so mentors will mentor both Bedrock and Java. Um, so yeah, with that, don't worry if you're a Bedrock staff member right now. You'll still have your Bedrock org um, and your cute Bedrock tag on the forums. And you'll get more information from the mentor you're transferred to soon. Um, aside from that, we do have a lot of mentees currently. Um, so we are going to be promoting up a new mentor right now, and that is Twist, who has worked so hard on the MA team. Um, so huge congratulations to her. Ooh, nice. Good announcement. <laughs> All right, uh, next question. Uh, what is your opinion on the merge between EU and US servers? Dean, do you want to start it off? Uh, yeah, it's completely necessary. That's my opinion on it. Even though it sucks that you know our EU players, especially the competitive ones, are having to play with higher ping, unfortunately, it's it won't. Well, not even unfortunately, it's just it's it's a necessary a necessary evil, let's call it that, even though it's not really that evil. Um, having a network on 
two regions that don't overlap with each other is extremely bad because we're basically splitting up our player base. Um, and whereas right now we're kind of, you know, merging them and allowing games to start more often and stuff like that. So, like I said, it's completely necessary, and that's my opinion on it. Anyone else have an opinion? I mean, my communities are able to play with each other in clans, and um, some of them already have high ping to begin with, so it, it to them it didn't really matter. I never got a much of a feedback from the community saying, oh, this is terrible um, for clans. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, next question. Are admins volunteers or paid employees like leaders and developers? Yeah, admin teams paid. Uh, has there been any updates to the Bedrock version of the server? Um, there's going to be planned updates. Uh, I think there's a new thing brewing right now. I don't know if yes. Dean can allude to anything, but yeah. Um, I mean, it's something big that's coming, but I can't really give details because we're still very much so in the early stages of development for it. Yeah. All right, uh, Grandpa, so which aspect of the admin team are you most looking forward to? I mean, just working with everybody. Um... One of the things I told Nathan this when I, I started, I'm still afraid of Jarvis. Well, um, I, okay, so my the reason why I'm afraid of Jarvis is because in um, my culture, whoever is older than you, you ha have to show utmost respect for, or even those who are the same age as you. Um, but yeah, it's just... I don't know how to explain it without, unless you were born in my culture. Um, let's put it this way. Um, Dean, you're older than me, right? Correct. Okay. So if we were in, if we were in um, like how I was raised is if we were in like together in real life and you simply asked me, hey, can you go get me a drink? Right. I can't refuse that really i have to go get you a drink Interesting. You know? yeah it, it, it's like that kind of thing like it, it, it'll be like if you're my older brother uh because right. in my culture everyone's your brother your sisters your uncles your aunts even though you're not related um and actually told this to one of the um staff members who are on the myplex team um lavi actually i i think of her as my little sister so i always call her am uh when she sees me and uh she would call me un and um that means uh brother and um sibling so it's kind of that kind of you know dynamic the more you know <laughs> <laughs> all right uh let's see are you working on new games for the Bedrock Edition server, or will you continue to prioritize fixing bugs? So I think right now it's like a kind of in-between. Again, we're on the early stages of working on something bigger. But again, in-between, we're just fixing some bugs here and there and any priority stuff. Yeah, the, the thing with Bedrock as well is that there's a lot of like new versions that come out like every couple of weeks, which on Bedrock is not really that noticeable because it just happens automatically on like Java. Um, so our developers are also like working hard to keep up with uh, keep up with those versions and stuff like that. So it's mm. a little bit harder on, on the Bedrock side as well. Mm. All right. Uh, how was the social media team changed recently in response to community feedback from the Community Insights Discord server? So I think a lot of internal things were changed on our approach on how we want to handle a lot of our marketing and what kind of content you guys are looking for as well. So that's kind of like the mindset we've kind of adapted along with some uh, research projects we've been doing. So hopefully you'll start to see that play out in the near future. Um, in terms of other feedback, I think a lot of people wanted uh, YouTube videos again on our old YouTube page. So we're kind of 
in the planning stages of developing content for that as well. So hopefully that <coughs> works out soon. Let me see. Emily, what changes have you made to the newsletter program in response to community feedback? Well, I personally haven't made the changes. It was actually uh, Pins and, well, Snip and Enunciated who uh, took over uh, lead after Snowy left. Um, they have implemented a few different changes. One of them is they are re-implementing community written articles, which will be announced in the August edition of the newsletter. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. Um, they have started refocusing on content that is more relevant to the community. So more content that you want to see. Uh, so like contests, interviews with community members, uh, more bedrock content, all of that. Um, and every single time the newsletter is released, we actually have a feedback form that is attached to the thread. So uh, we're going to be taking feedback basically all of the time uh, and make those changes if there needs to be. Um, so yeah, it's an ongoing process and uh, we'll keep perfecting it to make sure the newsletter is the best it can be for you guys. Um, but shout out to, uh, to Snip and Enunciated for all the work that they do at the newsletter. Cool. Um, have you considered making texture packs for the marketplace? Uh, definitely thought about it, but I don't think we have anyone on the team that could do it. Unless Duddy has any plans for that, but no, I have not. Um, let me see. What are all your favorite sitcoms for anyone? I like Friends. Friends is great. My favorite sitcom of all time, though, has to be Parks and Recreation. Ooh, that it's, is good. It's just a perfect, the, the, per, the way how it ended, it's just great, yeah. How I Met Your Mother. Yes, How I Met Your Mother was really good. Yeah, that was a good one, too. Except but the, the end, ending, yeah. uh, 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 Dean. Yeah. Uh, Friends, Will and Grace, How I Met Your Mother, Big Bang Theory, even though that gets a lot of hate. Yeah, The Office is a good one, too. That's number two. You guys make me feel like a grandpa. <laughs> um, you were a grandpa. <laughs> Uh, okay, so the reason why I feel like a grandpa because my favorite uh, sitcom um, is a bit older than all of yours. Um, it's Frasier, and I know it kind of sounds strange, but yeah, that it's that. Yeah, I never watched that. <laughs> that yeah, that might have been the last this is what I meant by I sound, I feel like a grandpa now. <laughs> uh, will you or other admins be attending any mind fairs? Anyone? Nope, because I don't live in the U.S. Uh, Emily, it, talking. It, de it depends where it is. I mean, if it's nope. near, close, I guess, maybe. I don't know. Grandpa? I mean, if I had time off, yeah, I would. It would be fun. But, yeah. And just to meet up with people. Yeah. Uh, the only one I've gone to is not, was even, was a private one, though. It was for the, in Sweden, for the Minecraft Content Creator Summit. So that was fun, though. But it would be fun to go to Mindfair. Don't know yet. Do you play any instruments? If so, what is it? No. 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 I was a choir kid. Not currently, but I used to play the cello. Right now, I... Uh, well, growing up, I wasn't allowed to um, play an instrument because, like, my dad says you're a boy. But um, I am learning to play the violin now, so. Cool. 
Um, Emily, you were the lead of the ideas team from the start. How has the team changed since it started? And what are your plans for the future of the team? Ooh, we love a good ideas team question. Um, it has changed so much from the start. Uh, when we started, it was really small. Uh, we had a lot of people from like different parts of the community participating in it. But um, a lot of the work we were doing uh, wasn't being responded to. Um, but after I took over ideas, um, I don't know if you guys remember Kat, but she's kind of like the main main wow. one who helped set up all of the connection between, um, you know, like production and the team itself. So, yeah, ideas like... From back then, like, how the team used to be ran, um, a lot of the ideas like didn't get like official responses, and now pretty much anything can get a response now, which is great. Um, as for future like plans, I don't, I don't know. Um, we'll have to see. Uh, Com and I have you know been wanting to change things on how the team works, but we don't really have any plans right now um so yeah keep an eye out nice all right uh next question do admins have feelings no we're robots yeah beep boop like we're robots yeah i actually can't feel emotions so Dean's too choked up to say anything, so we'll just yeah. keep going. He doesn't have the answer program. You know, <laughs> so. Does not compute. All right. Um, next question: Who's the tallest admin? So we actually discussed it in before the Q and A, and the tallest admin is Dean. Who's the shortest? That's me. I forgot who was How the second tallest. I'm 5'11". I might be the shortest, unless... Tom yeah, Taylor. you're the shortest. Oh, great. So I'm the youngest and the shortest, all right. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm 5'8", so... I'm 6'1". Yeah, I'm 6'1". We've discussed this. <laughs> we have a pretty tall community. <laughs> Looks like a lot of people are putting their heights. All right. Um, let me see. If it makes you guys feel better, my fiance is five three and a half, and I call her the tiny overlord. <laughs> Wait, Dean, do you get this question? I don't really understand it. Uh, wait, which one are you on? Seventy three. Yeah. Um, so on Engine, there was this great thread that kind of explained like exactly how the recruitment team worked with like pictures of Trello boards and stuff like that. Um, and this time around, we've gotten at least three or four questions about that and bring it about bring it bringing it back. Uh, I'm just gonna say hard no on that one. I don't see the added value for either you guys or the recruiters. Um, yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that. There's nothing that you can learn from that thread that's not already in like becoming a trainee or becoming a trainee too. Mm, okay. <laughs> uh, let me see. I don't know what I can answer. Let me see. Dean, these are more your realm. I don't know how you want to answer some of these. Um, OK, so in terms of fixing mechanics in older game modes, such as Mind Strike and Champions, um, <clears throat> I think we did a Champions update pretty recently, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Um, 
it didn't quite quite turn out the way that we wanted it to unfortunately um it is something that i would like to keep the option for to improve in the future um however there are other projects that, that we're currently working on and whenever those are finished then we'll evaluate what we want to do um in terms of mind strike that's a kind of difficult it's a very difficult game mode, which will take a very long time to get right. Um, I've tried working on a couple of bugs involving Mind Strike. Um, the the mechanics of the game are very like the code. It works in a very particular way where like I can't even really make sense of it. Um, so that would need to be done by like our more experienced, uh, our most experienced developer, and it'll take them a long time, which would be bad because then we have uh, our most most experienced developer be stuck on the project for a very long a long time if you guys get that so it's an option but not right now uh the answer to every idea is always it's not our top priority it's, if that's the case what is your top priority that can change from time to time um you know critical bugs are always our our top priority and we try to keep uh, keep up with uh, with them as best we can. Sometimes um, I'm sure you guys know about the chunk issue, where sometimes you'll be spawned in like an unloaded chunk, or a chunk will just not load for you. Um, I think that's also the cause of like a, a bug in bridges. Um, that's a bug that we just can't figure out for some reason. Um, it's somewhere deep in our in our code base. Uh, yeah, Dead World and Nano is is also a part of that. So it's something it's something deep in our code base, and we're we're looking into it. But um, it's it's just something that we can we don't have an immediate answer for, so we don't have an immediate fix for it. Um, what is our top priority right now? Um, is I mean, there's a couple of things that we're working on. Um, there is an, a smaller anti cheat update hopefully coming out soon which I'm not going to give any more info than that. Um, and then, you know, the, the game that we're working on that we mentioned earlier is, uh, is also another one. Um, and then does Mindplex plan on either adding a brand new game mode? Um, and what is the second part of this? Revamp or remove game mode. So yeah, again, we are working on something new, and that's all the information that I'm going to give you right now. Um, for revamped game modes, I think we talked about. Have we talked about UHC publicly? Publicly, think we might have. Um, so UHC is something that we're looking into, uh, and I'm going to be very clear here. We're looking into it. That doesn't mean that we're going to do it. It doesn't mean that it'll be here next month. It might even be a year, but we're looking into it. Um, there's part three to this as well. Add more variety of game types. Yeah, that's just part of part one. So, yep, that's pretty much it for these questions. All right, cool. Um, let's see. For Grandpa, are you Vietnamese? <laughs> I thought we established we were all robots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm Vietnamese. Um, I got last names in there, so. Yeah. All right. Um, question. What's going to be the future of Gwen as uh, Toon Basic has resigned and Gwen is once again without a developer? So I think Dean's already talked about having a small update. Quite unfortunate, given the circumstances of what <clears throat> kind of transpired with all that. Um, uh, I don't know what I want to say about that. Yeah, just, I think, disappointment overall on how that was. Um, but hope, hoping to definitely bring someone in and keep focusing on working on a lot of updates and stuff that our team our QA team has found and like working hard to ensure there's no um, false checks and all that jazz. I don't know if Dean wants to comment too much about it. I mean, even even without like a dedicated developer for for it, it's not at a standstill. I want you guys to understand that. Um, like I said 
literally two minutes ago, there is an update um, that's tested and I think it's going to go out soon. I can't really comment on when. Um, but yeah, it's it's not at a stand. So it's still being worked on by the other developers that you know sometimes find something that they can do with it. Um, but right now we don't have a dedicated person, but we will in the future. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, let's see, let's see. Should we do this question? 93? No. Okay. <laughs> I think we, we've done that to death, okay, to be honest. Done this one already. Okay. How many applications did it take before you were accepted onto the staff team? And if you can remember who the recruiter who accepted it was. I did zero applications. I was invited, so. Wow, look at you. Yeah. Hate to brag, but you know. <laughs> Dean. Uh, I think for me it was two in the second one, pretty sure. Um, it took me one, and I got accepted by Danny Stormborn. Took me one, and I was accepted by Giovanna. Um, Firestar was the one who um, accepted my application, and it took me It took me three tries to do so. So, <laughs> nice. yeah. Uh, again, English not my first language. So, but perseverance, right? I uh, I don't know, Toki. Do you want to answer ninety nine? I don't know. Um. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's see. <laughs> Will you ever sell us vans? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Can't sell access to the server. That's against yeah. you, Lula. Dean, do you want to do that one? Uh, yeah, sure. Will you ever remove, change, or nerf things like Frosting Kit and Deploy Platform? Those items make the game so unfun because with Frosting Kit, blah, blah. Um, sorry for the blah, 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 but it's long. Um, yes. I mean, that's that's kind of why we have, uh, you know, teams like the Feedback Team and, and the Ideas Team and, and uh, Game Insights is to get feedback on all of that. I know for a fact that Game Insights has, uh, has discussed frosting. Um, so whenever we do a, um, uh, a another Cake Wars update, um, then that's definitely uh, that's definitely something we can uh, do or at least discuss. When can we expect an update for survival games? Um, whenever we have time for one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone, what is your favorite game on Mindplex? Uh, I still like Dragon Escape. Right now, it's Nano Games. Nano Games for me as well. Same. I'm sorry, but I got to represent clans. <laughs> Imagine if he did say clans. Ooh, the uproar. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, any plans on opening the event assistant sub team? Again. Oh, so I'll answer the second part of this question. Right. Uh, can a staff member join this closed sub team? Um, anyone can join event assistance. It's open to community and the staff team. Um, however, we don't have any plans on opening the team as of right now, um, due to the event server being down. Um, but depending on how things go, because the event team and I are going to be working towards some uh, different events in the next couple of weeks. Um, I'm going to say maybe, but I there's no set answer. Um, it just depends on how things go. Cool. All right. Uh, will Halloween Horror slash Havoc be out again this October, and will Halloween Chess come back? Yeah. Uh, I... Havoc will be back yeah. yeah 
we will not be making a new game mode for it. I can already tell you that. But I think people like the classics anyway, so it's going to be fun. <laughs> I love Halloween. I think Halloween's probably my... F or actually, maybe Christmas. I can't tell. But Halloween's Halloween. like a really good time on Mindplex, yeah. I think. It's a fun time. Especially with the spooky lobby. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I'm so excited. I can never win that on my own. I have no idea. <laughs> Like, Just get some people to care. I have you. never, yeah, but I, here's the thing: I get the best players I know. Never won, ever. <laughs> okay, maybe we need to change that. I'm that terrible. We'll live stream just admins playing it. Yeah. And mm -hmm. see if we can win. You just see all this cheating. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Dean, you want to answer that? One, five, six. <clears throat> Hello, I was wondering why all my Plex tabs were not trained like QA to deal with players using reach. Um, so the the thing with that is is that QA um, are not only you know most of the time more experienced staff members. Um, they also have access to. Uh, Gwen logs, which give a lot of metadata to that particular staff member that explains like the, the violations that happened at what time, what the player's ping was, et cetera, et cetera. So that's, that's a, a very handy tool for them to really figure out if they're, I mean, it's not 100% accurate, of course, but it, it, it's a very powerful tool for them to figure out if a player was using uh, reach hacks or not. Um, so that's why QA uh, has that power over other staff members. And to be to have access to metadata, you need to be on QA. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, Grandpa, congrats on your promotion. Three questions. Will you prepare and develop clans mid-season patches uh, yourself? So I think you kind of answered that, but yeah, if you want to dive into it again. Well, uh, like I said before, like I like the only... Co a bit of coding I have ever done was in senior year of high school, and I'm right now I'm refreshing myself on Java coding, so maybe in the future, but I, I'm not seeing it right now. Um, All right, uh, second question you can't really answer. Uh, third question: uh, Should a season seven ever happen? What are your plans for it? What aspects of clans would you like to improve first? Well, for, uh, one of the things I want to start doing is um, fixing uh, a lot of the glitches that happen in clans. So that's in my uh, head is what I'm aiming towards. Uh, one of them would be like for that would be the illusion and uh, smoke bomb advantages. Now, um, illusion gives you uh, it has a glitch where you can actually um hit people while you're vanished basically all right cool um earlier this year a poll about your favorite games on java was conducted have the results influenced your update plans uh it'd be more of a question for dean and jay but i would i know jay's been really looking into that or whatever well yeah. so for the second part of a question, which is, is are they are the results going to be made public at any point? No, never. Um, the first part, yes, it has influenced our decision on what games we update. Uh, that's why, for example, you got the block on update earlier this year, um, and it will it will uh, probably continue to uh, influence our future decisions. But maybe we need to refresh that poll at some point. But we'll see. Nice. All right. Uh, what is your favorite song and why? Dean? Oh. Um, circle back. I need to check my Spotify. All right. Yeah, me too. I'm doing that. Emily? <laughs> okay. So, favorite song, it, that's one of those things that's like so difficult to choose. Like, how can you go through all of your music and just pick one song? Matt, it's not going to be a Taylor Swift song. 
and but lover is great if you have listened to that album and you understand um i don't know maybe a beatles song because i grew up listening to a lot of the beatles with my parents um probably andrew burke can sing that's probably my favorite i'm just gonna pick one from the beatles and that's it um nice Toki. um i don't really have a favorite song i listen to different types of music depending on my mood diplomatic i like it i like it grandpa i was dreading this question i'm gonna be honest you what um, uh my okay so the reason why is and you guys are gonna find this very funny please don't laugh um I like to listen to um, Irish shanties, so <laughs> so um, top three songs: uh, "Red Is the Rose," the Chemicals Workers song, and the Irish Pub song. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> Did you have one now? Yes. Okay. So my music taste is a very um, basic white girl. But um, I can relate to that. There, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Um, I like I like Adele a lot, um, and that would probably be like Water Under the Bridge or All I Ask. Nice. Hometown Glory. Yeah, I'd say my favorite is still Perfect from Ed Sheeran. I really like that song. You should come to karaoke then. People sing that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, actually? Okay, maybe I'll stop by and listen. <laughs> Alright, let's see, let's see. Okay, this summer uh, you have successfully rolled out an anti-VPN solution. Will IPB bans, as confirmed in last year's Q&A, follow anytime soon? So we actually changed it up, so we wanted to approach it with that um, anti-VPN solution instead. Uh, we're just going to evaluate, keep evaluating, but we like the solution so far. Uh, let me see. Uh, are there any chance I can become staff with one band? This is probably for Dean. Depends on your band. Network band, probably not. Um, hacking band, you would have to wait a long time. But yeah, you can become a staff member with one band. All right, what is the main thing you guys are looking for when promoting a moderator to a senior moderator to your team? Activity, dedication, knowledge. I think that answer like kind of covers it across the board. Yeah. Um. I guess specific experience for each team, maybe, because uh, with Com, you have to be very active within the community and uh, work towards those sub teams. With Event Squad, you know, attend events, join event assistance. Yeah. What my opinion? Yeah. yeah. All right, so um, for not like like Ian said, knowledge is one of the key things you need to know. Um, but another aspect that nobody actually thought about for clans is you actually need to know the player base, and I think this is this is kind of what got me everybody thinking that I was biased. Um, because immediately, I I, I recognize everyone. Who goes on to clans? I know your um, in-game name. I, I'm I've seen it so often that it's off the top of my head. I can see, like, uh, yeah, you're a veteran. If I see a new player come online, I immediately um, see what's going on because usually, uh, if I see a new player, it's um, something to investigate. Um, so people like so people think like, oh, I'm targeting certain people. No, I'm not. I'm I'm just investigating everyone. Half the time, it's so that, okay, if they're new, I can help them out, too. So, Toki? 
Um, I'd say for MA's initiative is a big one. Like, they need that drive to want to become a MA. Um, and with that comes, like, independence and the ability to, like, follow directions. Um, honesty is something I really value, too. Um, so if someone's, like, struggling, I'd much rather they come to us and admit that they're struggling so we can help them rather than just them deliver poor quality work with no explanations. Yeah, so I'd say this, yes, similar thing for um, social media. If I can't trust you, I can't really work with you. So even if you're struggling or like struggling with anything, I'd rather them be open with it than kind of lie and then dig themselves a hole. But yeah, in terms of other parts, just kind of creativity, not being afraid to push the boundary, try new things, and that drive to want to do more than what you're assigned. So that's always a good thing. All right, um, who's the funniest admin? I mean, that's up to you. Me? Mm -hmm. You can be the judge. Well, I think everyone's funny in their own way. You know, mm -hmm. everyone has their own humor. <laughs> I don't know. Should I go into the cringe answer? No, let's just that's always a classic. I already started it. Okay. All right. Wait. <clears throat> all right. So yeah, I would say like getting to know all these people through PMs or just admin meetings in general, you kind of get to understand them all at a deeper level. And humor is such a funny thing. You just see a funny aspects in every part of them. They have different types of humor, their personality traits just show up. So I would honestly say every member of my admin team is the funniest one. So Every day I could laugh at something they say or something they tell. Oh, I see Dean's muted to me. So, but you know, I, that's another joke of his, you know? It's like his, that kind of humor that he's willing to mute me and just make a joke of everything. So I'd say every admin's uh, the funniest. And that's what I want to say. All right, cool. Everyone good with that answer? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> How many languages do you speak? Uh, I speak three. Dean? Two. I mean, I can speak two fluently. I speak one fluently, and I understand some Spanish from school, but yeah, I'm not fluent. Fluent English and a little bit of Japanese. Um, for me, I'm not fluent in any language because I was born in the U.S. and I kind of grew up learning both um, Vietnamese and English. But I, like, if you're saying, can I speak in both languages? Yeah, I can. Um, uh, is my skills like, can I go into a competition and do it? I don't think so. Um, but I am learning also Japanese, German, and Italian. That is a lot of languages. <laughs> I have a lot of time. I only sleep <sighs> three hours a night. All right. Um, let me see. Let me see. Uh, what keeps you, I guess, motivated to keep working on the server? The people. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. People, definitely. I guess I'm just enjoying the work as well. But mainly the people. And the players. Yeah. yeah. I see people in the chat. Yeah, I, I would say, too, the shard bonus is definitely a good motivator, too, every month. True. Yeah. Yeah. Self improvement is a good one. No, I still say shards are probably a bit bigger yeah. than that. But yeah, self improvement's decent, I guess. That's like at the bottom of the list, though. I think shards is like number one. Yeah. <laughs> the free um, chest. Okay, so for me, it's my team and the community. Um, and again, it's also like. I've had insomnia for nine years. I've exhausted a lot of stuff to do at night already. So one, this is actually one of the few things that have actually kept me busy uh, late night. And 
I just want to say I am sorry, Toki, for like messaging you at like four a.m. in the morning. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Rip. Yeah, the, I I literally mean I sleep I, I sleep only three hours a night every night until like like the third or fourth night I pass out from exhaustion. Right, that's the only time I've actually gotten like twelve hours. Rip. All right. Uh, now that Dean has responsibilities on other parts of the network, will he be keep? Will he still keep leading recruitment? Yeah, uh, I don't think. Unless Dean ever feels like he's uh, overwhelmed or anything like that. But yeah, we, I think we've always had the discussion of making sure Dean has feels he still on top of everything and he doesn't ever feel kind of burned out from all the other teams. Dean, do you want to speak on anything of that? Yeah, I mean, you covered it. Yeah. Okay, same question there. MPS update. At the <laughs> not 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 in any of our future plans. It's something that we want to do. It's something that Mopple said that he would do, but Mopple's no longer with us anymore. So, yeah. Um, uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, I think we get this question a lot, but it's always fun. If you had to be admin for a different team other than the one you are currently admin of, what would it be and why? Uh, I'm just going to say social media, maybe, I guess. Yeah, social media would be a fun one. QA would be fun, too. I don't know. I might take Event Squad. I've been hosting a lot of NPS lately. Wow, you're coming for my job. Right? How about you, Grandpa? Even though you just got your admin role, so... <laughs> Come again? Oh, uh, if you had to be admin for a different team other than the one you're currently admin of, what would it be? Uh, I want to say uh, do the right like mentoring, I guess. Really, uh, I I would like to help with the mentoring team. Actually, that was my second choice to um like, uh, for a sub team because when I was training, I actually told uh, Grace with the Firestar that um. Yeah, that's one of the teams I would like to go on if I couldn't get to clans. Cool. All right. Um, let me see. If you could live on any planet of your choice and pick one staff member to live with you there, who would it be? Who wants to go first? Toki, I mean, you go first. It's not really a planet per se, nor is it real, but um, probably Sanctum from the Hundred. Oh my God! Yes, so, oh, love that. Show. Just, <laughs> please don't okay. me- don't don't ruin that. I'm on season five. Please. Um, oh, yeah, right, <laughs> yeah, I won't spoil. But if I had to pick someone, does X staff count? Because then I'd pick Glenn. So. <laughs> oh, I wonder why. <laughs> Nobody's ever gonna pick the chemical engineer who can actually keep you alive. Okay, I see. <laughs> nah, that's too practical. Do we have an internet connection on that island or a planet, rather? I don't know. It could be any planet of your choice. So maybe that planet has internet. It, it, it's mm-hmm. just naturally occurring internet it's all over the place, really. Yeah, I don't want to play favorites, so... And I don't think anyone wants to hear my classic answer, so... <laughs> um, For me, I'm, I'm going to be honest, I wouldn't pick any staff members. I would pick my my, my 
best friend who's a mechanical engineer. <laughs> Very practical as well. Yeah. Dean, Emily, do you have anything you want to answer for that one? I, I don't um, know. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> can, I go, can I go to a new Earth and just be alone? <laughs> oh. Rip. All right. Um, do you have any pets? Yeah, I have a cat who's turning one in a few days, so that's fun. Dean? I have a, I have a dog, uh, a chocolate Labrador. I have three. like seven. Oh. Oh, go ahead, sorry. I have three cats. The crazy cat lady. Two dogs, two cats. Um, so I got one dog, uh, a pit bull terror. Um, I got a tortoise, and don't be afraid of being the crazy cat lady. I'm the crazy fish guy because I have seven uh glow uh, glow fish that are Danios, um, three goldfish, a emerald um catfish. And forty-five albino, uh, Bristol nose albino plecos. Oh my gosh! Was that forty-five? Did I hear? Yes. Oh yeah, I see. Yeah, you win. Dang. Hold on, I'm gonna go get uh, take a picture of the tank. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, uh, how old were you when you got accepted as staff? I think I was seventeen. 22. I was 18. 19, I think. Oh, dang. I was actually the youngest accepted, eh? Okay. Let's see. Let's see. What is your favorite ride at any of the Disney parks if you've been? I actually just came back from Disneyland, so I'd still say uh, Big Thunder is my favorite. Last time I was in a Disney park, I was like four or five years old, so don't really remember. It's the closest one, the closest one to me is in Paris. So yeah, I unfortunately have never been to Disney. <gasps> I know I want to go so bad. Maybe next year, bring the kids with me. Same with Dean. I was like four. Um, I do remember the Dumbo ride right, that went up and down. I guess that. <laughs> nice. Grandpa, what's your favorite ride at Disney? Um, I would have to say the Yeti Mountain ride. Because, oh, that's, okay. oh, that's... Yeah, no, here's the thing, though. Um, My fiancé, she doesn't... Uh, and the reason why is... uh, I, the, I think they're called Mandala Wheels. Um, you pass them as you're going up to the ride, and if you spin them, it's uh, three of them. It's meant to be good luck, and I used all three spins to um, wish that my fiance would scream because she never screams on a roller coaster ride, and th that was the one ride that got her to scream. <laughs> nice. Uh, uh, what do you think you'll? you guys would be doing in life right now if you've never discovered Mindplex or Minecraft? Uh, well, I just finished university, so I think I'd be on the same path right now. I'm probably still on my job at the movie theater. I'd probably be working at a preschool as a teacher assistant. Toki, Grandpa? Oh, uh, honestly, no idea. I'm not sure my answer would be appropriate. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, okay, so let me explain. Um, I mess with chemicals a lot so because I'm a chemical engineer. I love uh, chemistry. That being said, um, I do get in trouble sometimes when, like, when I say in trouble, um, I have set myself on fire on accident. Interesting. 
Walter yes. White, no one said. <laughs> so um, the answer would probably be more morbid if you get what I mean. Oh, rip. <laughs> okay. Uh, what did you guys study in college? If you went to college, uh, I studied finance. I got a business degree, specialized in finance. Media and entertainment management. I haven't gone yet. <laughs> Same. Um, I, I just kind of answered it. And <laughs> hey, what do you guys do in your free time whenever you aren't working on Mindplex or on the computer? Um, I think pretty classic stuff, just working out, hikes, hang out with my girlfriend, hang out with friends, all that jazz. But yeah, thinking more about Mindplex, I guess, while doing those things. <laughs> yeah, Mindplex is a job that's following you around everywhere you go because everyone has a smartphone these days. Um, if I'm not at the computer, I'm probably walking my dog uh, or going to the movies or something, although I haven't been in like half a year. Um, but right now I'm addicted to World of Warcraft, so. Uh, for me, a lot of my time goes towards my siblings. I'm the oldest of four. Um, and they just went back to school, so life is really hectic right now. Um, yes, if anyone knows Benjolio, that is my What brother. a legend. Yeah, what a legend. But, yeah, family friends, uh, games. That's pretty much it. Oh, and Netflix, yeah. It's an... Yeah, I hang out with one, our animals, um, friends. Sometimes go fishing. That's kind of fun. Ooh. Uh, I normally catch more than one, so. Ha. Huh. You guys are going to think I'm weird. Uh oh again. Um so I practice archery, uh martial arts. I also practice sword fighting and blacksmithing sometimes. Um I also like I said, I also do chemistry for fun. Um and I also race my go kart. Dude, that makes you the coolest out of all of us. Yeah, that's not weird. Yeah. Blacksmithing? I didn't even know that's a hobby. Well, yeah, it's like it, it, it's it, it's a form of it's basically chemical engineering. Think about it. Um, if yeah, you, you yeah, first yeah. off, you you are smelting the uh, like the metal to actually uh, to you know your liking the shape you want, and then you use a cryogenic uh, freezer to uh, fast like uh, flash freeze the metal so that it's hardened. So it's kind of pretty cool. Interest. <laughs> All right. Um, next question: Will Gen Hunters ever make a comeback? Um, I don't. I don't think so. No. But if you want to play Gen Hunters with awesome models in a superhero city, you can get it on the Minecraft Marketplace that we released. <laughs> wow, we love a good plug. I know. Okay. Oh. Well, how would you? Uh, I don't know. What is one tip to give future applicants for trainee, Dean? Be authentic. Not good enough. I like it. I like it. Is there ever going to be an open interview for Java? At Dean? Uh, no. no, never. Not going to happen. Rip. Short answer. Uh, what's your journey on Mindplex from the start, or how did you get here? So I think pretty standard. Well, it, trainee was called helper. Then it became moderator for, I think, a week. Joined mod coordination for a year. Then became admin of mod coordination for a year. Then head of staff. Dean? Help, helper mod TMA 
uh, trainee bootcamp mentor, um, then mentor. Then I led a bunch of sub teams in TM, then TM admin, recruitment admin, and then STM admin, then QA, uh, and now marketplace and development. Uh, I started off as a trainee, then mod. Like six months later, I got calm. Um, streams team around the same time as well. Um, back then, calm was events and relations together. So about a month after I got relations, I got events. Um, was calm and events manager for a good while. Um, when I got into calm, I applied for the ideas team lead position. So um, after a while, leading that team, then feedback. Um, streams team, um, supervising game insights, and then it was mini admin, and now I'm admin. Um, for me, I applied as a helper, got early promoted to mod. Um, from mod, I got invited to mod cord from Ish and Nathan. Um, from there, I kind of like earn the position of monitoring manager um i was trials manager for a short amount of time which was like tutoring and stuff um that had been discontinued a long long time ago um let's see oh gosh and then like i was i guess lead of the e eet sub team for a while and then it you know shut down um Let's see. Then the merge happened. I became kind of like the team lead staff management, and I was that for like a while. Um, slightly before then, actually, though, I got support, have been on support since. Um, and then, yeah, I eventually got admin of staff management. So, woo. um, Okay, so I started playing, um, like, well, no, the first game I played was Super Paintball that I, I, I like to play, and then uh, I started playing Capture the Flag, and then I started going to clans. Um, we started doing, uh, like, using ranks to get into clans, so I went from Legend to Eternal to Trainee, um, and then from Trainee to Mod, then Senior Mod, and then now I've been. Awesome. All right. Um, I think this is for Dean again. Would Java staff members ever be, have the opportunity to become RA? Oh, and I guess Toki and MA for Java. What? Would Java staff members ever maybe maybe Java? Oh, I guess. Um, I mean, no. Okay, so when Toki made that announcement earlier, and I, I don't really want to speak for Toki, but I'm pretty sure we have the same experience in terms of like the Bedrock staff team. Um, it is very hard for us to keep our divisions, like Bedrock divisions of our senior mod team, to keep those running. Um, and that basically comes down to, there's not as many Bedrock uh, staff members. Um, the Bedrock staff members that we do have and get on the team don't usually last super long, not more than half a year. So it's it's kind of annoying to have to constantly find new uh, new new team members. Whereas Java Java team members are they stay around for a very long time. So to answer your question, if your question is, will Bedrock staff members be able to be Java or Java RAs or MAs, then my answer is no, just because past experience. I don't know what Toki's answer is, but. um, Yeah, so mentoring assistance right now, like whenever we open up MA apps next time, it'll be for both platforms, like, and then whoever gets it will assist the mentor, which will have mentees from both platforms. Um, but as far as like becoming MA and RA at the same time, which I think the question might also be asking, um, that's probably a negatory because we both kind of want people that are dedicated to eventually becoming um, 
the full-time members of our team. So like becoming a mentor or becoming a recruiter. Yeah. Cool. Um, will there be new ranks in the future? No, I don't think so. How, okay, this is probably for Toki. How do moderators become Discord moderators? Um, there's a thing that they have to read over when they're promoted to mod initially. And if they read over that, they should be able to find something that they're supposed to do in that. And then I'll apply their tag. And that's pretty much it. Cool. If you could bring back one remove game, what would it be? Uh, Wizards. UHC. UHC. Mine would be Paintball. I mean, it was the first game I ever played, so. Paintball still exists. Good. I, I, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, like, I could have swore it was, it was taken away, was it? What a happy surprise, see? Happy He's too busy. Oh, right hey, this players. is great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I mean, sorry, I'm, I'm so engulfed in clans and all that. So You, you might have been confused because <laughs> PayPal didn't have uh, its own NPC. Oh, okay, yeah. No, but now it does. <laughs> that explains a lot. Because I was looking all over for it, and it's like, oh, did they take it away? Oh. I don't know, probably Castle Siege. It's a classic, and it's a yeah. good Um, Grandpa, when's CMA apps opening? I want to say beef, but I want to say a month or so before the season starts. I'll be evaluating um, that. So, yeah. Cool. We're on our last 10 questions. So, if anyone wants to send in any last minute ones before we end it off, feel free. Um, okay. What does everyone plan to do in or? Oh, sorry. Well, <laughs> well, that was crossed out. Okay. <laughs> hey Dean, any estimate on when QAT apps will open? Oh, you can ask the last one. I just I was preemptive. Oh, now nah, answer this one first. Uh, very soon. That's my estimate. Okay. Uh, what does everyone plan to do in order to continue to improve their team? Honestly, talking. Sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. <laughs> Just keep talking to everyone on the team and uh, and with uh, with leadership and owners and and see where we take stuff basically. Yeah, weekly meetings, talking, communicating. I mean, that's really like how you can improve your team is by starting with your members first. And um, because my teams are community orient oriented, we also take feedback from players as well on changes that need to be made. So, yeah. Yeah, definitely communication between like all team members is good, especially like people who are MAs as well. They have, you know, valuable feedback. Um, so it's not just like the mentors that have input on changes and stuff. Um, and then just continuing our monthly meetings and making sure that the whole like process of trainees getting to mod and all that is good. Uh, for my team, I started doing this when I was a senior mod um, as a CM lead monitor. Um, I host um, meetings every other Friday, and we talk about it. And uh, like one of the things uh, I want to improve is the tools that we have for moderation, but I also want to talk to the community and get their feedback more often because I might. Uh, so many times I've heard where the clans community isn't having their say in anything that they that's happening in clans. So that's one of the things I want to improve on. Yeah, uh, for SM, I think it's just generating more preview content, uh, more GIFs, video content for everyone to enjoy, and just kind of create more hype on everything. Um, internally, just working on Kind of like how we can improve communication feedback for each other. 
All right, uh, Emily. Oh, this is mean. Emily, since you run two teams and manage many, many sub teams, which is your favorite? Am I gonna pull an Ethan with this one? <laughs> you might have to. I can't pick. That's like picking between, you know, your children. Like you can't do that. I mean, I feel like some parents do, but like I'm, I'm not that, you know, type of person. What's the um, question? What is her favorite team? They're all special in their own ways, and you know, everyone is so wonderful that there's just no way I can pick one. So. Yeah. Matt, I'm not answering that. <laughs> um, Toki, would you ever allow someone to become an NMA but not want to be a mentor in the future? Probably not. Oh, rip. What is everyone's Mindplex level? Legit people only. Um, 57. I think mine's 52. Mine was 86, I think. Um, My legit level is somewhere in the 60s. You're 53, Nathan. Oh, yes. I leveled up. Mine is 43, and I don't uh, plan on changing to 100, so. Uh, most embarrassing thing you've done? Like, on Mindplex, or? I have a good one. Okay, I'm like... Yeah, do do? <laughs> the most embarrassing thing I've done at Mindplex is um, messaging a YouTuber by accident. Uh <laughs> Thankfully, uh, it didn't make it into a video, but um, yeah, I meant to message uh, a dev instead of a YouTuber because they asked me about the YouTuber being on, and as streamsly, like I go moderate streamers and stuff. So um, yeah, that was really embarrassing. Grandpa, you want to say yours? Uh, okay, so is this in real life or just in Mindplex? I I'm guess just my person my, uh, in real life as well. <laughs> Let's just stick to Mindplex. Uh, the most awkward thing I would have to say is somewhat kind of like what she just said. Um, messaging someone, except I kind of messaged the hacker. Where's the hacker? <laughs> <laughs> I've done that before too. Yeah, I relate. Didn't you message a YouTuber, M? I literally just told that story. Oh, that? Oh. <laughs> I was well, looking at listening. I was looking at the list of questions, sorry. Um Toki, can you give some hints for updates to this Discord server, if any? Um, well Wandy's been very busy with like the website stuff. Um the Discord bot that he's working on is more of a side project for him. Um, but it should come with a lot of new things and fixing some of our current issues. Um, anything more specific is like, you know, I, I don't want to say too much uh, ahead of time because I'm not sure when the bot will be finished, if that makes sense. Nice. Um, any advice for any future staff that are interested in becoming the part of recruitment at Dean? Uh, not really. I mean, yeah. Just be good. Be good. Yeah, oh, nice. I like it. I like it. All right. Um, have you traveled outside of the country? If so, where? Yeah, I actually um, studied abroad for five months. And then during that time, I got to travel to eight countries around Southeast Asia. So that was fun. Um, I've never been to the U.S. Uh, I live in the Netherlands, if you guys didn't know. And I've been to the U.K., Belgium, Germany, France, Turkey, Spain. Uh, others, but can't remember. <laughs> I'm boring, and I haven't been anywhere. 
Same. But I one day want to go to Japan. <gasps> Same! Oh my god. Adventure? I feel bad now. Oh my god, a girl's trip? I, I've, I've been to Japan before. Uh, for my 18th birthday. Um, I've been to China, Taiwan, Vietnam, Singapore. Um, France. France was funny, but I don't remember half of it. Uh, concussion. Nice. Um, uh, what is your favorite moment on Mindplex? I think my favorite was the five year anniversary because I did a lot of the planning parts of it. So having it actually come out was really fun and to celebrate like how much has changed over the last few years. Anyone else? Um, well, I think my, my favorite like times of the year is Halloween like in terms of event wise like network stuff um halloween is my favorite so yeah i also really like the the alien uh event that we did it was very different and we've never done anything like that before i think and having alien invasion come out too was really exciting wasn't that for july um i don't remember it was a while ago but it was fun having um lobby events when the lobby was decorated like that it was a good theme for us i really liked when gwen first came out and staff were all like where's the guardians because we couldn't see them. like actually couldn't see them mine is well I, i'm kind of like with emily there where um my favorite uh time of the year is halloween so I like the events that go on in Mindplex, but for me, clan like like most of the funny moments I have is in clans because there are some. Um, it, it's basically like America's funniest videos where you see uh, people being, you know, funny. Um, the one point I actually saw a player use a creeper to blow up another player. Okay, that's kind of hard to do, you know. Uh, uh, any chance of bringing player ranks to the Discord? PPC, yes, there are plans. Other ranks, no. What is your biggest fear? I don't like heights. I'm Anyone very else? claustrophobic. Um, I'm afraid of anything that flies near me. Um, flies? Just bugs, just bugs in general. Oh. Like, I just don't... We just don't get along. Um, yeah. I. My room is in the basement, so sometimes there will be like a centipede, and I will just lose my mind. Um, so that's fun. Um, for me, it's just kind of my delirious state. Um, my friends call him Frankie because he does he he does stuff that people like a, a sane person would not do. Uh, actually, it's one IE Cloud Gamer three sixty. But anyways, um, so my city isn't the safest city to live in, and what happened was. He decided to go out into the middle of the night searching for Twinkies at gas stations because we were out of Twinkies. Yes, I said Twinkies. Chucky? Um, I guess people dying. Like, I've had a lot of death in my life. I just, I can't. Yeah. Okay, um, if you were to travel to a place in the U.S., any specific city or state, where would it be? Probably go back to Florida. Mm -hmm. 
either New York City or the state of California, just in general. Yeah, New York is probably a big one. I want to go on. I want to see a play on Broadway or whatever. That'd be really cool. Probably kind of lame, but just back to Lynn's hometown in Illinois. I would say New York City because it kind of reminds me of uh, Vietnam um, and my family. Like, it's how crowded it is over there. It's just that everybody in Vietnam is on mopeds while everyone in New York City is in cars or walk. Mm. All right. Uh, Christmas Chaos 2 or Halloween Havoc, which is better and why? I like Christmas Chaos 2. I love Halloween Havoc more. Should I yeah. explain why? Please do. Please do. Okay. Well, first of all, Halloween. How can you not like Halloween? Okay. You know, we love spooky stuff. Um, Halloween Havoc is also just a really unique game mode, especially with the kits, because uh, a lot of the abilities are inspired by Overwatch. And Overwatch is my favorite game. So. Yeah, Halloween Havoc by far. Yeah, I love Halloween Havoc. Um, sad that it doesn't work in MPS right now, but it's great. Plus, who doesn't love hardcore mo mode? I can choose. I designed both. So. I like Halloween Havoc. Because like, okay, so I, I like Halloween in general. Every year, my fiance and I we get dressed up and we hand out candy at the public square in my city. And like the last year, we were dressed up as Beauty and the Beast. So nice. All right. Um, will you come to Israel? I had no plans no, on going, but no. you know, never say never. Anyone else have plans of going there? I mean, no. No. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, there's your answer. I would go if I had time. I mean, I've, I I have I've had friends who've gone to Israel, and it was uh, in Lebanon. Um. Yeah, it was just all, all, all around fun for them, and people. I feel like they just get the wrong notion that oh, it's near, it, it's in the Middle East and active war zones and stuff like that. But uh, there are a lot of amazing things that we don't get to see. So I would travel uh, anywhere if I can uh, possibly go to. Like, there is one interesting place I know it's uh, riddled with crime, but. I want to go there simply to see the island that never gets struck. It's a, a, so there's a place I think in um, northern Africa, or it was North uh, South America, that has lightning strikes um, 360 days out of the year, but the lightnings never strike the island in the middle of the lake. And I want to go there just to see it. Interesting. The more you know. Okay, awesome. I think that's all the questions. It's 275. Almost been two hours. I think we're pretty good with everything. Yep. Yeah. I think two hours is a good time to stop. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Yeah, everyone else good with it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. All right. Cool. Awesome. Thank you so much for everyone who did attend, especially for the whole time. Like, it's a long time to hear us talk. So we really appreciate that. Um, I had a lot of fun. I'm sure. I think everyone else had a lot of fun as well. Um, so we hope. Hopefully, we can do more of this. Um, probably comment in Emily's thread if you did enjoy it afterwards. Let people know if they missed out. I think there's going to be a recording, right? Divide mentioned she was recording it. So. Maybe you'll see it there too as well if you missed anything. Yeah, you can plug your channel. <laughs> but yeah, 
Um, yeah, thank you so much for everything, for just always being, I think, supportive of in a lot of the decisions we do. We always try to make sure we're thinking about the community. I know not all decisions are very popular, but a majority of you always just keep a very open mind to the things we're doing and support us. So we're really appreciative of that. And it keeps us going to keep working harder for you guys. So thank you so much. And yeah, hopefully we can see you around soon for another Q&A. All right, cool. I'm going to grab lunch now. Thanks again. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. See you, guys.